Okay, so I watched The Mitchells versus The Machines, and I'm not overhyping when I say this is one of the greatest films of all time. Y'all have no idea how serious I am. It's a story about the worst family of all time attempting to take their daughter on a cross-country road trip to college, which gets interrupted when the robot apocalypse happens. This tells a familiar story, but it's probably one of the most unique films you're gonna see. Everything in this film 100% hits. There are visuals that deserve to be in a museum. Like, this shot needs to go down as one of the most iconic shots in movie history. Its use of color? is absolutely unbelievable. The film is quite literally crackling with creative energy. And not only is it itself a love letter to creativity, it's probably one of the most heartfelt stories that deals with the theme of family. The writing is clever, the humor is hilarious, but it also has proper neurodivergent and LGBT representation. We need to preserve this film. The Mitchells versus The Machines being the funniest movie I've seen in years. <laughs> Watch what happens when I turn off the Wi-Fi. You wouldn't dare. Fuck! Hold on, I kind of want to see where this is going. <laughs> but it's super far away. You'll never it's make 80 it. miles away. <laughs> what are you doing with me right now? <laughs> <laughs> Just to educate you. That's okay. <laughs> it's like stealing people's data and giving it to a hyper-intelligent AI as part of an unregulated tech monopoly was a bad thing. <laughs> Hello, I'm a queer and trans person who likes movies and TV and stuff, and I want to talk about a movie. I want to talk about The Mitchells versus The Machines, which is currently streaming on Netflix. First thing I got to say, this movie is mwah, amazing. It is so funny, so well written. Visually, it's stunning. Um, there hasn't been a movie like this really since Spider-Verse. Um, you should definitely go watch it. It is a great movie. And my second point is that we know Katie Mitchell, the main character of the movie, is openly queer. And that's wonderful. I'm all about queer characters who just get to be queer without having their storylines so focused on that identity. But here's the thing. Don't go around claiming Sony made this movie to be a paragon of queer representation because Katie's queerness is identified by one pride pin on her hoodie that you don't notice unless you look for it and one line spoken by her mother in a post credit scene. Gay people are more than subtext. We are more than subtext. That's all. If you haven't seen Netflix's The Mitchells vs. Machines, please go watch it. Here are just like a couple reasons why I love this movie. First off, the animation style. Now the movie is set in the perspective of the main character, Katie, who is gay by the way. And it's, it's like made how she would edit her own films. And the reason that the animation style is so amazing and it's creative like that is because some of the creative directors from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse worked on this movie. If you love Gravity Falls, you're gonna love this movie because you know how there's like ciphers in Gravity Falls? There's ciphers in this with the robot language and also some of the writers from Gravity Falls worked on this. And Alex Hirsch voices a character. You're not gonna know which one it is though, I don't think. Did I mention the main character is gay? I feel like I should just mention that again. It's like a family movie, so you can watch it with your whole family. I love it so much, I've already watched it twice, and I just wanted to tell all of my followers to watch it too, because it's such a great movie. But there's a scene where the mom flips the switch. She turns into Beatrix Kiddo from Kill Bill. They even use the Kill Bill sound cue for uh, those moments when she turns into a badass, which is an amazing scene. <laughs> Mitchells vs. the Machines is the number one movie on Netflix right now, and I'm sure you've heard a lot of people saying, go watch this movie, and they're like a thousand percent right. You should go watch this movie for a number of reasons that I'll list later, but one that I want to throw into the mix right now is kind of nebulous, but it's the amount of fun that is like oozing out of this movie. It's 
an incredible amount. I don't know if the writers and animators were given like an incredible amount of creative freedom on this, but it seems like they've really captured and like honed in on the feeling of being young and creative in this movie. And they've just like injected it into every single part. It's amazing. That's on top of the fact there's a canon LGBT character. There's lovely family dynamics. There's hilarious jokes on top of the wonderful animation that we've already seen from Sony. So yes, you should go watch this movie. It's incredibly fun. Maya, Maya, what you need to do is be thankful for the life you got, you know what I'm saying? Maya, stop looking at what you ain't got and stop being thankful for what you do got. Let's get it to him, baby girl. Hey, hey. 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 versus the machines. Tony, your animation? It's amazing. 2D movies are strange to come by nowadays. But you managed to use the art of 2D animation into 3D movies, get awesome, funny, very artistic, makes you connect with the world, and connect with the characters. So animation? Mwah. Now, the comedy. I laughed out loud plenty of times, because the humor was very relatable. Why they relate to the dad, mom, son, the daughter, maybe even the pug. The story of family, but your family special, that, that's always a good message. I would love a sequel. But first, I gotta watch this one again because it was just amazing. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on Netflix right now. Visuals versus the robots fan art. Hello, Manchi. I am only six minutes into the Mitchells versus Machines movie on Netflix. And I'm about to fucking cry. This kid, this kid is me. Like, not only is she gay, but she never fit in school. She felt very, she seemed to feel very like alone constantly. And then she gets into art school and she finds people who are like her. I am in art school, and it is the best thing that happened to me. Like, I never liked school until getting into college and I was studying what I wanted. I was with people who shared all of my interests. This is only six minutes into the movie. Watching this new film that's on Netflix called The Mitchells vs. the Machines. And this is really a really good animation movie, do I say so myself. And this lady right here, she just logged in her inner warrior. Just watch. <laughs> Even the robot is scared. 